Hey there, Heather, ho there. Uh, I am Michael, welcome back to Mike's Heart of Views. We're doing 25 Drinks of Christmas, day 21. I am really sorry this is going up so late. Uh, I've had a really busy week with work and then uh, also preparing for Christmas. Things are running a little behind, but I will catch up. And we're gonna start that off today by making a dessert version of an old fashioned that I call a grandpa's flask. Why do I call it a grandpa's flask? There's not really a good reason, but I always imagine like the archetype of like the, a traditional American family. There's always that one person who brought their own booze and it's always one of the old people. <laughs> We're gonna make something just off that stupid archetype that probably doesn't exist uh, that you can make for your friends as a Christmas nightcap. You need everything you see in front of you. Uh, you're gonna need a bourbon. I would go for just about anything you can mix or whatever you would make a regular old fashioned with. You'll also need some amaretto, which is an almond liqueur, creme de cacao, which is a chocolate liqueur, Angostura bitters, and then there's an optional bar spoon of simple syrup here, which I'm going to add. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna serve this one up in this case, actually, which means without ice. So we're gonna stir this one in a mixing glass. And I'm going to start with two ounces of bourbon. Next, we're going to need three quarters of an ounce of amaretto. Next up, we're gonna need half an ounce, a scant half ounce, really, of creme de cacao. Next, we're gonna do three dashes of Angostura bitters. And then, like I said, I'm going to add a bar spoon of simple syrup. So we're gonna go ahead and throw some ice in here. Whenever I stir cocktails, I will break up two whole large cubes just to make sure there's enough surface area to chill and dilute properly. Once we've got our ice in there, we're going to stir it to chill and dilute. Uh, the thing that I usually look for is the ice kind of loosens up. It's a lot easier to stir. That's about the point when you know you've hit where you wanna be with your uh, dilution. And by that point, it should be cold enough to serve. Once we've got that nice and stirred up, we're gonna go ahead and grab a coupe style glass. If, if you have one chill to use that, but if you don't, regular one will be just fine. You're gonna take a Hawthorne strainer and just strain that out into the glass. Finish that off, I'm gonna go ahead and take a uh, peel off this lemon. You can use an orange as well, but I think uh, lemon and moretto are a really nice um, pairing. And in general, I would argue better than oranges. Express that across the top. Instead of just laying that across the drink, I'm actually gonna go ahead and make just a little crown for it. Just like grandpa's old gold teeth. <laughs> there you have a grandpa's flask or a dessert old fashioned. Let's go ahead and give it a sip. It's everything you like about an old fashioned with a heavy amount of bitters in it. So three or four dashes instead of two. Um, it gets just really in your face with like this bourbon richness. Uh, in this case, there's a lot of peanut notes in this bourbon. You get that, and then there's this nice, just almondy amaretto and chocolate in the background that kind of give it this, this nice, warming, sweet base note. By cutting back the sugar, too, it's not too sweet. As far as, like, a dessert cocktail goes, like a nightcap, this is pretty much where you would want it to be. You wouldn't really want it to go any sweeter than this, or else it'd be kind of cloyingly so, kind of thick on your palate. It's kind of nice too, is those lemon oils sort of complement everything going on in there. It's just this light little hint of citrus towards the front of the taste and on the nose when you sip it that kind of pulls it together. It, it, it's a very basic, but a, I think appreciable adjustment to a regular old fashioned, especially if you're looking for something that is more dessert friendly than an old fashioned would be. Well, again, sorry for the late upload, uh, but like I said, there's a new trick every single day. I gotta adhere to that. So uh, this is the Grandpa's Flask. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this day 21 of 25 Drinks of Christmas, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe down below. I'd be happy to see you guys stick around and hang out with us. But until tomorrow, that's our drink. You guys have a great night. I'll see you then. Goodbye.